having an organic vegetable garden. And as you can see in the back, there's no grass. I use a gas-powered rotary tiller to dig up the dirt. And at the moment, we're making cube-shaped soil blocks. Now, the reason why they're cubes is because it gives the seeds and the roots the best possible start. Normally, you want to use a soil block maker. However, I couldn't find one to buy, so we're making them by hand. Let's get to it. We're gonna, we gotta make about 300 of these. However, due to time, we're gonna see how much we can make and how, and how quickly, and then in our next video, we'll show uh, us planting the seed. Let's grab some dirt. Depending on the seeds, they, they, the cubes might have to be three, two to three inches. Some of them are one inches. We just pack them together and later you make a hole on top and you put the seed on top, top of the hole. The important thing when you're making them is the soil can't be too wet and it can't be too dry. Otherwise the soil is going to fall apart. It needs to be just the right amount and the only way to figure that out is to get your hands in there and feel the texture out for yourself. And I'm here with my nephews, Blaze Windsor and Hyperbamia. They're grinding it out with me. Ooh, it's finished. It's easy. Start. So right now I got seeds for 18 different vegetables, more than 1,000 seeds and we'll try to see how much we can plant. All 
Also, when you're buying your seeds for gardening, make sure you buy non-genetically modified. Heirloom seeds are always better than genetically modified. Alright, so the soil mix isn't just straight from the ground. I added some organic fertilizer to it. First I added the green Gaia all-purpose fertilizer which consists of alfalfa meal, ballast rock dust, bat guano, blood meal, bone meal, Feather meal, fishbone meal, fossilized carbon complex, glacial rock dust, green sand, kelp meal, mineralized, mineralized phosphate, and oyster shell flour and rock phosphate. The second ingredient we added is earthworm castings. So earthworm castings are basically worm droppings, but when companies sell them, especially if you get an organic one, it's processed so it's non-toxic and uh, you can handle it with your hands no problem. And I believe this contains some live worms as well. We've been finding live worms in our soil mix. Now the all-purpose already contains it, but the other important ingredient is to add some type of uh, mineral. So like a glacial rock dust or a green sand. The, um, it's important in the soil um, uh, so the roots get the minerals that they need. And the basic of organic farming is just building the soil. Soil enrichment, adding green manure, which is dying organic matter, which the all-purpose flour contains, like the alfalfa meal, and adding uh, rock mineral dust. I like uh, glacial rock dust, um, um, and some worm castings, worm castings, and if you get some live worms in the soil, all, all that helps create an environment and ecosystem that's ideal for uh, seeds and roots to grow. And we're not using any uh, toxic fertilizers, any chemicals. All, all these ingredients are good for the soil, good for the plants, and good for your body when you eat them.
Alright, so this is actually our first attempt to making soil, uh, cube shaped soil blocks. And, um, I'm gonna mention where I learned this. This is the book The New Organic Ore by Elliot Coleman. He mentioned that soil blocks are the ideal uh, medium to grow seedlings in and recommended getting a soil block maker. I couldn't find one so I decided to use a baking pan because these were rectangle shaped and I decided hey just cut them in half and scoop them out. However well, I, tried, as I, I tried doing it and they were crumbling and breaking apart. Not an efficient way. And then, since that did, when that didn't work, I decided let's see if we can make them by hand. And with a little practice, making the cube shape by hand is actually a lot easier than my attempted uh, baking pan method. Real live one in here. Wow, look at that, see? Live worms in the dirt. Oh, He's been set free. Yeah, Huh? And his faith is all in his own now. <laughs> that, that's, how, that's how the world works. You either survive or you get eaten. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're warm. Okay, keep at it and we're gonna make more videos and show you how to set up the your land to grow some organic vegetables see you later Look at these guys looking up to the sunset there's so much more work to do so many more things to do so you gotta like look at the you gotta look at the dirt sometimes and see like oh where you're gonna put stuff down right what's this guy talking about 